Let us take one uh, small problem in cost sheet. We have to prepare cost sheet with as many details as possible and ascertain the selling price per unit of the product. We have direct materials 12.5% of selling price, direct labor 17.5% of selling price, production overheads this is one third of prime cost, administration overheads 50% of production cost and profit is 750 per unit and that represents 15% of sales. So with this information we have to prepare a cost sheet and find out what is the selling price per unit okay so let's have a cost sheet let's have a structure let me do that here we'll have particulars and all information are available to us in percentages so we'll have a column for percentage then we'll have the column for amount okay so this should help us to proceed further to start with let's see what is the proportion of direct materials what is the proportion of direct materials? Direct materials is 12.5% of selling price. So here let us just fill the percentage because only when we know what is the selling price we can apply 12.5% on selling price and derive the amount till then we can't. Okay. So now we'll just have the direct materials percentage. Go back. We have direct labor which is 17.5%. So we'll capture that direct labor and this is 17.5 percentage okay so you have the materials and labor now if you sum these two together we'll call it as prime cost so this is going to be called as prime cost which is nothing but a plus b okay so let me total 12.5 percent plus 17.5 percent so your prime cost is 30 percentage okay then with this what else I should add let me go back question says the production overheads which is nothing but the factory overheads is one third of the prime cost so I have to apply one third on prime cost and that will help me to find out what is my production overheads so item D my production or say factory factory overheads and this is nothing but item number C multiplied by one third okay because one third of prime cost is my production overheads so let me do that I'll multiply one by three okay or simply I should divide it by three and that says it is point one and that point one is actually ten percentage okay so now I have prime cost I have production or factory overheads okay so if I total this I'll get what is known as factory cost item E I'm going to get uh, factory cost and factory cost is uh, nothing but item number C plus item D okay so let's see what's the total it is 30 percent plus 10 percent so it is 40 percentage now let me go back to the question question says administration overheads or 50 percent of production cost do we have the production cost no because we have reached only till factory cost and we don't know what is production cost but administration overheads are given as a percentage of production cost so how do we proceed here I want to give a note I mean let's understand how that process works and then we'll come back okay so probably I'll keep that note here so I'll call it as working note 1 calculation of administration overheads and we were said that administration overheads is equal to 50 percent of uh, production cost so if you can arrive at the production cost then 50 percent of production cost is going to be administration overheads okay now let me expand that your admin overheads uh, let me just copy paste yeah your admin overheads is basically 50 percent of your production cost then we should know what is production cost right so here let me introduce a bracket to show what is production cost production cost is nothing but a sum of factory costs and 
admin overheads so the sum of uh, factory cost and admin overheads actually makes up the production cost okay so now we know what is factory cost we have just calculated okay so factory cost plus admin overheads makes up the uh, production cost and 50% of this production cost is actually uh, admin overheads so how to understand that see if 50% of production cost goes to admin overheads then the balance 50% should go to factory cost because we know that production cost uh, let me break up that here we know production cost is actually sum of two items one is factory cost and the other one let me have a plus sign here and the other one is admin overheads and the question says admin overheads is 50 percent of production cost so if this is going to be 50 percent of production cost then the remaining 50 percent should go to factory cost okay so that would make up your production cost as 100 percent now we know what is factory cost what is our factory cost let's go back we know factory cost is 40 percent of sales if factory cost is 40 percent of sales okay and if you take at the if you take a look at the production cost which is 50 percent then your admin overheads should also be 40 percent of sales and if you are finding it difficult let me just put it here with factory cost we have to add admin overheads and that would give us what is the total production cost okay so your total production cost is nothing but sum of factory cost and, ad and admin overheads and if this admin overheads is 50 percent of production cost then the remaining 50 percent should go to factory cost okay whereas factory cost is 40 percent so what you have to understand here is the factory cost and admin overheads are equally distributed that is the relationship between these two is 50 50 or if I put it in the form of ratio they are in they are in 1 is to 1 ratio okay they are in 1 is to 1 ratio so if factory cost is 40 percent of sales then admin overhead should also be 40 percent of sales so this is what I, I was driving okay so the admin overheads is also 40 percent of sales and now you will get that message the total production cost is sum of factory cost and admin overheads which is 80 percent and the information what you have in the question is admin overheads is 50 percent of production cost your production cost is 80 percent of sales apply 50 percent on that you are getting 40 percent so what we have done is right okay so we have total production cost now then what we should do we should add selling and distribution expenses to find out the cost of sales so let me do that item H selling and distribution expenses but I think the question is silent about that so I cannot fill any percentage here but with total production cost if I add selling and distribution expenses what I'll get is total cost of sales I don't know what is total cost of sales but with total cost of sales if I could add profit I'll be able to find out selling price per unit right so with this let me add profit let me add profit uh, and I know that information because it was mentioned profit is 5% of sales so if we are saying that profit is 5% of sales then sales should be 100 right only then it makes sense sales should be 100 so now I think uh, through a reverse calculation we'll be able to find we know that sales is 100 percent profit is I'm sorry not 5 percent uh, let me correct that it is 15 percent profit is 15 percentage of sales then the difference between these two 100 minus 15 is going to be the total cost of sales 100 minus 15 percentage is total cost of sales which is 85 percent you know what is the total production cost or you know up to total production cost which was 80% your total cost of sales is 85% so 
So why your total cost of sales is greater than the production cost? Because of presence of selling and distribution expenses in between, which is 85% minus 80%, that is actually 5%. Okay. So in this way, you can also find out what is your selling and distribution expenses. So I think now we have percentage for each and every item in this cost sheet. So from where we can start with, do we have information about any of these items? Only one item we have, that is profit. Profit is 750 per unit. So here, let me capture. I know my profit is 750, okay? And if this 750 is representing 15%, look at here, 750 is representing 15%, then what should be 100%? So how can I find that? 750 represents 15%. So the hundred percent is supposed to be five thousand. So once I get this five thousand, then I think I can find everything because all the other items are linked with sales. If you look at the percentage, everything is linked with sales. So let me go back here. Direct materials. Direct materials is nothing but sales into twelve point five percent. So which is six hundred and twenty-five. Fine. So let me just modify the formula. So I'll, I'll have this with dollar sign so that it does not undergo a change. So what about direct labor? 17.5% of sales. That is 5000 into 17.5%. So I get 875. And prime cost is nothing but sum of these two items. And it is 1500. And what is production overheads? It is one third of my prime cost. So 1500 divided by 3 and it is 500. So factory cost is sum of prime cost plus the production or factory overheads which is 2000. Then comes admin overheads. Admin overheads and factory overheads they are in equal proportion so 2000 and 2000. So both makes up your total production cost which is 4000. Then comes selling and distribution expenses which is 5% of sales, sales into 5%, so 250. So what's your total cost of sales? 4000 plus 250, 4250, add profit of 750, so you get sales as 5000. So this is a simple cost sheet uh, where you have used the information, the percentages related with sales to find out the cost per unit and the selling price per unit.